Hello everyone. Welcome to my C Sharp tutorial. Today, I will introduce you to the basics of the C Sharp programming language by creating a console application and explaining the code. Let's get started. In the previous video, I showed you how to install Visual Studio 2022. If you haven't installed it yet, you can check out how to do it. I will post a link in the top right corner of the screen and in the video description. Now, open Visual Studio. Click on Create a new project. In the search field, type Console App. Choose ConsoleApp.net Framework and check if you choose c -sharp Programming Language. Click Next. Then name your application. I will name it Hello Underscore World. Let me explain the code. The first part indicates that we will be using services from the standard c -sharp language library. The standard library of any language provides certain functionalities to programmers. Some of the basic functionalities of a console program are printing text to the screen, console, and reading input from the keyboard, and so on. Since every program we write will use these functionalities, each one starts with the using system directive. Most of the included libraries won't be necessary in the initial programs, so you can freely delete all the subsequent using directives, but it's not an error to leave them. You don't have to delete them if you're using Visual Studio. When a console application is created from the Visual Studio environment, the generated code is slightly more complicated. The class is placed in a namespace, hello underscore world, which has the default name of our console application, but that's not relevant to us in the beginning programs. What matters is that we write the commands of our program inside the mon function. Printing to the console is done with the console.writeLine command, where the text to be printed is enclosed in double quotation marks. There can be multiple such commands in one program. Here, I will print, hello world. After that, I will add the console.readLine command to close the console after some keyboard input. Save the project. Let's run the program by clicking the Start button. As you can see, we got the output in the console. If you enjoyed the video, Please like and subscribe to the channel for more free video tutorials on C-Sharp programming for console and Windows Forms applications.